Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you how to determine the deflection of overhanging beam using integration method. From the problem, we need to determine the equation of elastic curve and specify the slope at A and deflection at C. Given EI is constant. Okay, now we start find direction at support. Right, so we need to find RA and RB. Okay, using equilibrium equation. So first of all, I will draw free body diagram. Okay, T. And then this is 4 meter, 2 meter. Using equilibrium equation, moment at A, okay, equal to 0. So therefore, RB time 4 minus 20 time 6, right, minus 20 times 4 times 4 divided by 2 is equal to 0. So the RB is equal to 70 kilo newton. Then summation FY equal to 0. RA plus RB equal to 20 times 4 is 80 plus 20 is 100. So, RA is 100 minus 70. So, you get 30 kilo newton. Okay. So, we know that RA is 30 and then RP is 70. So, we want to draw the elastic curve. Check with the RA plus RB is 100. And then, we compare with 20 times with 4 is 80. So 80 is less than 100. So now it's going up a little bit. And then with the 20, so it's going down. There is the elastic curve of overhanging beam. Okay, now we can determine the equation of elastic curve. So find the moment function. Here from the beam, I will cut into two span. I cut starting from left for x1 and then from the right is for x2. Okay, first step to determine elastic curve is find the moment function. So, as we already cut into two sections, the first cut is from 0, s1 to 4 meter. So, I will draw the free body diagram for cutting section 1. Okay, so you have a 30 for RA. Then, this is your X1. Okay, now by using moment equation, moment 1, summation moment 1 equal to 0. So, M1 minus 30x1 plus 20 times x1 times x1 divided by 2 equal to 0. So you can find m1 equal to 30x1 minus 10x1 power of 2. Okay, the next section is from 0x Two, 2 meter. So I cut from the right 20 kilometer. So this is M2. So I start from the right X2. Summation moment 2 is equal to 0. Negative M2 minus 20 x2 equal to 0. So, I find that m2 is equal to 
negative 20x2. Okay, so you have the moment 1 and moment 2. Okay, next we find the slope and deflection equation based on M1 and M2 equation. So, slope, deflection equation. Okay, I will write down. Okay, E I D square V1, E X square 1 equal to moment 1. Okay, is equal to 30 x1 minus 10 x1 power of 2. So the next moment 2 is equal to m2 equal to negative 20 x2. So we need to integrate to find. Okay, integrate moment 1, find slope for moment 1. Okay, integrate, find 30 divided by 2, x1 power of 2 minus 10, 3, x1 power of 3 plus c1. Okay, then integrate again. So we have deflection. So 15 by 3, x1 power of 3, minus 10, 3 times 4 is 12, power of 4, plus c1, x1, plus c2. Okay, so in here, we will find that this, I will label it equation 1 and equation 2. Next, we integrate for moment 2. So the slope of V2 is to equal to negative 20 divided by 2 power of 2 plus C3. And integrate again, you will get deflection at 2 is negative 10, 3, 2, power of 3, plus C3, X2, plus C4. So, I write down this one is equation 3, and then this is for equation 4. Okay, so here we have four different unknown C1, C2, C3, and C4. So how we want to define this unknown? So let's take a look back in the figure. Okay, so we need to define the boundary condition. The boundary condition, okay, look at the support A is pin. Okay, what happened to the pin? So, V1, which is deflection equal to 0. Then, you start with X1 equal to 0. Then, look at B. So, at point B, just roller. So, V1 is equal to 0. X1 is equal to 4. Then, we also have another boundary condition, which is V2 is equal to 0 and then X2 equal to 0. Okay. okay, now we can solve the C1, C2, C3 and C4 by apply the boundary condition. Okay, we start with the boundary condition of 0, X1, 4 meter which is V1 equal to 0. And then x1 equal to 0. Then v1 equal to 0. x1 equal to 4 meter. So based on here, we can substitute into equation number 1. Okay. 
So I write down the equation number 1. V1 equal to 15 3x power of 3 minus 10 12 x power of 4 plus c1 x1 plus c2. So I substitute this case into question 1. Okay, 0, 0, 0, 0. So therefore, we know that c2 is equal to 0. Then, we move with the case 2, which is v1 equal to 0, x1 equal to 4. Okay, alright, again, the equation. Minus 10, 12, plus 2. So, by using this equation, substitute in this case, we know that this is 0 and then x1 is equal to 4 meter and then this is 4 meter. This is a 4 meter. So this is 2. You get 0. So therefore, we get the c1 is equal to negative 80 divided by 3. So the next one, we check for Section 0 x to 2 meter. Okay. So the case for the boundary condition is V2 equal to 0. And then x2 equal to 2 meter. We can substitute into equation number 4. Okay. I write down the equation number 4. V2 equal to 10 divided by 3. Okay, negative 10 divided by 3. X power of 3 plus C3. X2 plus C4. Okay, I substitute. Okay, V2 is 0. X here, X here is 2 meter. Okay, so you get. 80 divided by 3 equal to 2C3 plus C4. So you still get one more equation. So I make it this equation as equation number 5. Okay, still have two more unknown to solve C3 and C4. Okay, in this case, to define the unknown C3 and C4, we apply one continuity equation. Okay, look back at the figure of the beam. We apply the continuity equation. So, the continuity equation at the roller for the slope. Okay, so now say I draw. So, you can find here the slope. Okay, and then here is the slope. So in here, the continuity equation is dv1 over dx1. Okay, when x equal to, when x1 equal to 4 meter. So it's equal to dv2 dx2 when x2 equal to 2 meter. So, now there is a negative sign in the, this equation. Why? Because the slope is measured positive counterclockwise from the right. So, it's supposedly positive counterclockwise. Okay. But here is clockwise. So, therefore, this is negative. Okay. From this continuity equation, we can solve C3. Okay, we can solve the C3. Okay, we apply the continuity equation. Right. So, equation 1 is equal to equation 3. So, dv1 and x1 and x1 equal to Meter equal to negative dv2 dx2 x2 equal to 
to two meter. So you apply into both equation. So thirty two and power of two minus ten three x power three plus c one is equal to negative twenty two x two plus c three. Okay, so we apply this one is four meter four meter. So c one we already know is negative 80 divided by 3. So this one is 2 meter. Now we can solve this C3 equal to negative 40. So when you already have 3 C3, so you can solve, you substitute this C3 to C to the equation number 5. So now C Three, we can substitute into equation number five. Okay, when you substitute, okay, up C three into equation number five. So you can get the C four is three hundred twenty divided by three. So you already solve. All four unknown. C1, C2, C3 and C4. Okay, so now we can write all the four equation with all the unknown. So, E, I, K, slope 1 is equal to 30 to x power of 2 minus 10. 3 x 1 power of 3 plus we see 1 which is v 1 is negative 80 divided by 3 then find the deflection for v 1 is 15 divided by 3 x 1 power of 3 minus 10 12 x 1 power of 4 minus 80 divided by 3 x1 plus c2 c2 is 0 the next equation slope at x2 ok x2 is equal to negative 10 x power of 2 plus c3 which is c3 is negative 40 so the deflection of v2 is equal to negative 10 3 for 3 minus 40 x 2 okay this is next 2 okay plus c4 plus c4 is 320 divided by 3 we have done determine the elastic curve equation so now we can calculate the slope at a and the deflection at C. Now we calculate delta A and deflection at C. So delta A is equal to dv1 over dx1 when x1 equal to 0. So therefore when you substitute into the equation of the slope we can find that negative 80 divided by 3 er kilo newton meter square. So this is direction of delta A. Then for slope delta C equal to V2 when x2 equal to 0. So you can find is 320 divided by 3 ei kilo newton meter cube going down that's all for now thank you for watching